Hi, I'm Bob Collins. I'm certified apprentice beekeeper in the University of Florida's IFAS Master Beekeeper Program. I am now today going to do the practical part of Varroa Mite Check for the advanced uh, level of the class. So what I'm going to do is I'll get into our hive, which I haven't done anything on this one. No propolization yet. This is the... I guess I need... Ah, they're calm. I don't need to give them smoke. Got a lot of bees up here working with honey super, so that's good. The flow is just now starting, or started just about a week or two ago. And I see they've glued down. Just move the honey super. Move the, I've probably better smoke them just in case. Move the queen excluder. Ooh, they got it glued down good. Now they're mad. So, let me remove one of the frames to give us some room to work. I'm working on that one. I'm drawing this one out. I want to get in here to the center and get some nurse bees. Oh, this is one where we're doing wacky comb. They're drawing all kinds of wacky comb on this one. I'm make sure to get to save that. Okay. I'm going to pull this frame out. And first, we'll do that. I'm going to put my alcohol. 91% alcohol. Roll the container. That's enough. That's about enough. Just checking. Just cover that. That's enough. We'll lift up this frame. Double check I don't have the queen. Four bees. Got good brood. I don't see the queen. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got a one cup measuring cup, but I'm just going to lightly break this down, get some of the young bees in here. They don't appear to be wanting to go, I don't blame them. So, I'll set this down here. I've got roughly half a cup of bees. Put that in there. And put the lid. And now, I have to shake for a minute. So, you keep the, you see the time on the camera? It is at 3.55. So, I'm going to shake the longest martini in the world. Shake them for a good minute to get the varroa mites off of the bees. And this is shaking. Put this back in. There we go. You can see the time on the front too. Let's go. So we're doing this just to give them enough time for the row of mites to, to die along with the bees and to fall off. This is roughly 300 bees give or take and that will give us our count of mites per 100 bees about 20 more seconds less than that to go in product placement so I've been shaking for a minute now we're done and I can't get this off
and spin up the bees. And just so we can see it for better purposes of visualization, I'll pour. Let's see, there's one. Yeah, that's a mite, one mite. No more in here, no more in the cup. So that's one mite per 300 bees. So we are well, well, well below the threshold where we'd have to treat this hive. Uh, if we did have to treat it, since the flow has started and we would need to be treating, we would treat with uh, Formic, Formic Pro uh, because last season we treated with Apivar. And so we want to alternate so they don't get a resistance to it. But Formic Pro can be used with Honey Super Zone. And if we had to treat, that's what we would use. Uh, but we're not going to treat this one because one per 300 mites, or what's that? 0.3, one percent. Well, yeah, one one percent is well below the, the level of treatment. So, anyway, I hope this helps. And any questions? Let me know. Thanks.